Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Shahira Binti Badrisha. I am final students from University of Malaysia Perdis and uh, today I will present about our project which, which is Modern Para-Athletics Drawing Seat. My teammate is Nur Amira Shahila, Nur Balkis Hanum, Che Is Daniel and Tan Feng Ling and my mentor is Dr. Muhammad Shahriya Bin Salim. Athletic throwing events like javelin, discus and shot put can be performed from a, from a seated position by physically disabled athletes using the throwing seat, which required the athlete to remain in full contact to chair at all time. Our proposed modern throwing seat is equipped with elevation mechanism to adjust the height according to the athlete's preference. Moreover, sensor applied to, the, to ensuring the safety of athletes by detecting the movement surrounding the throwing seat. There were three problem statements in our project, which is comfortability, time-consuming, and stability. Due to the diversity of the physical characteristic of athlete, it does not give comfort to the athlete to use the existing throwing frame. Next, time-consuming when athlete need to move from wheelchair to throwing seat. And the last one is disturbed the seated position due to the strapping is not too tight and grip, which is the first one. The frame must be easily transported and preferred by an individual using a wheelchair to be able to transport the frame independently. The second one, it must be adjustable to fit athletes with a range of weight, both right and left-handed throwers, athletes needing arm support bars and a range of athletes' age, such as adjustable pole, height of seat, and foot rest. Next, the durable and stable for use by athletes while the seat in it and through. The fourth one is the desirable for the frame to be comfortable and capable of holding extra equipment during the competition. Before starting this project, we performed an analysis by interviewing Puan Nur Shamyung, which is the Malaysia para-athletic coach, and Miss Mira Iwani, which is the para-athlete. And then we do some market survey in terms of context, potential respondent, comparable situation, technology, material and cost. And lastly, we conduct a questionnaire analysis and we receive 12 respondents from para-athletes, 18 respondents from sport backgrounds such as coach, staff and students. In this slide presentation, I divided into four parts, which is methodology, design specification, budgeting, and conclusion. First, I will uh, explain about the methodology of product development. This is the final design of our prototype. This is the left view and right view. This is the front view and back view for our prototype. This is the design concept for our throwing seat. Uh, the main element that we use in this design concept is microcontroller Arduino as the programming and battery as power supply. As you can see, our modern throwing seat is equipped with motor driver L298N and linear for elevation control mechanism, PIR sensor for motion detection and safety buzzer to alert the user. And lastly, the control button transmit instruction to the microcontroller according to the athlete instructions. In our uh, project, there were four mechanisms involved, which is elevation control mechanism. For elevation control mechanism, we use linear actuator and switch button to adjust the height of the throwing seat according to the athlete preference. Secondly is safety sensor. We use PIR sensor to detect the motion of human or animal near the throwing seat and a buzzer to alert the athletes for safety purposes. The third one is luggage mechanism. For this mechanism, it's applied for our backrest. To transport the throwing seat, we can easily slide it up as a holder for the user and also can be used as adjustable backrest. And the last mechanism that we use is screw lock mechanism. We apply at full rest and pull for according to the athlete preference and comfortability. The second part in this project is design specification. So this is the adjustable pool that can be used for right-handed and left-handed athlete. The form cushion for the, the para-athlete's comfortability, adjustable footrest, adjustable backrest that also can be used as a holder for transportation, linear actuator and telescopic poles for adjustable height of the throwing seat, and rubber caster wheel for transportation. 
So this is the two main components that will be used that will be used in our project, which is PIR sensor and linear actuators. The function for PIR sensor is to detect any movement surrounding the throwing seat. PIR sensor can sense motion, almost always used to detect whether a human has moved in or out the sensor range. The purpose of the sensor is for safety reason and to prevent from any injury that might happen. This PIR sensor can detect movement range from 5 meter to 7 meter. The second main component is linear actuator. Linear actuators work by moving the seat in a straight line, moving up and down accurately. Screw or plumbing, plumbing screws are used to make a linear movement. The screw turns clockwise or, or counterclockwise, causing the shaft to go up and down and to convert the motor's rotationally motion into linear motion. So this is the product demo for safety sensor. Firstly, the sensor will be positioned at the back of the throwing seat. An athlete must be seated in a ready position. And then the PIR sensor will detect motion surrounding the throwing seat uh, in range of 5 to 7 meter. If there were any motion detected, the alarm buzzer will be triggered and the buzzer will make a sound to alert the user. If there are no motion detected, uh, the alarm buzzer will not be triggered and it will not um, produce any sound. So the athlete are ready to throw. Product demo for linear actuator. Firstly, the throwing seat will be adjusted in a lower position for the athlete to move from the wheelchair to the throwing seat. And then the height of the throwing seat will be adjusted according to the um, user preference by using the switch button. And lastly, athlete seated in comfortable position and ready to throw. So this is the connection with Arduino. This is the circuit diagram of Arduino that interface with two linear actuators and two motor drivers. This is the budgeting for our project. The estimate total that we spend in this project is around 770 20 cent. Uh, from our analysis, our product is cheaper than the throwing seat that already exists in car. So market. the last part in our slide presentation is conclusion. The throwing seat that we design can give a lots of benefits to the athletes. One of it is it is easily operated. We use few adjustable mechanisms that can assist the athletes such as height elevation control, screw lock mechanism and luggage mechanism which are easy to use and less time consuming. The second uh, benefit is ease in transportation. Since our throwing seat is equipped with rubber coaster wheels and a backrest that can be used as a holder, thus it can be easily to be transported the throwing seat on any surfaces. The third benefit is strapping is used to grip the user tight and cuff to ensure the stability of the athletes during the throw event and safety sensor to avoid from any potential injuries that might happen. And the last benefit is even though our products are cheaper compared to the current throwing seat in market, we can develop more functional and modern throwing seat that fulfill the user requirements. Thank you.